represent Cell the Seagull. This is Dennis the Donkey. My name is Mike Reed, the Wally. And this is a seaside special run around. How about that, Winkle? <laughs> Would it be answer one, Shanklin? Answer two, Bog Noir? Or answer three, Brighton? <laughs> Go! Run around now, Gordon. I'll run around and now I'm going to run Oh, there's only three wrong. You know where you go. The rest get a point. Give a round of applause, kids. Lovely. Right, next one coming up. Once again, the answer in front of you on the board. What we want to know is, what is kelp? Would it be answer one, a type of sunstroke? <laughs> answer two, a lifeguard's cool sign, Kelp. <laughs> or answer three, seaweed. Have you got that? <laughs> go, go. <laughs> Run away! Kelp, you lifeguard's cool sign. Give a round of applause, girl. Well, where was you, darling? Was you in, well, it doesn't go up there. Where was, I don't, isn't this a wonderful game? Kelp. Right. <laughs> I tell you what, we've got a gentleman here. Uh, many of you boys and girls might not have seen this, but I remember playing on these many years ago, unfortunately. It's a nice bit of machine, dear. Look at this. <laughs> Doug Berryman. This is Doug Berryman. As you probably realise today, our theme is up on the seaside, and these are amusement from a, a, from a day gone by, I would presume, that I like. This is what? This is a Greyhound gambling machine. A Greyhound? Would this be a, look at it, would this be a forerunner of a, a modern-day one-armed bandit? Mm, absolutely. Have a go at it. Mm, it's got a penny in here, isn't it? It's using the old pennies. And, and you've got to pull the handle down. Okay. And, oh, let it work, see? What happens is, did I win? No, I drew a blank. Anyway, that's a, that's a Greyhound machine. What's this one here, Doug? 
This is one of the famous crimes. Famous and, crimes. And the secret of this one is to set the control before you put them up. Now these are, oh, these are still in use, I think, some of these. Right. Okay. Now what happens? It loses itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, one hand here. One hand. Look at that. Go on in. What do I get us? Keep going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, wait a minute. Go on. Go on. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> oh, I've got a plane. I only wound up with a plane. Go on in. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Drop it away, drop it away. Oh, <laughs> Put it back. What a will. Move on to this one. Right, now, oh yeah, this is what the butler saw. Do you remember that? What the butler saw? Stand over there, that's what the butler saw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a sea beast, and this is what? This is a kiss. A kiss me? Yes. Now, what do I do here? There's a gentleman or lady, you put in your coin, and it tells you So that's that that source for gentlemen, and that's that source for ladies. <laughs> 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 Stick one in there, I'll turn the handle, what am I doing? I'm calling cool the ladies side. Oh, right. Now, test your grip. I remember those, I was very good at those. Remember these old feathers? Good there. Oh, right. We've got a question about that, kids. Old feathers. Here we go. Now, test your grip. Well, these work a considerable amount of money, I suppose, don't you? No, really, yeah. Nice. Oh, look at that. 60. <laughs> <laughs> Gentleman's name's Doug Berriman. I'm sure you boys and girls will find a great interest. There's still one or two about. Nice round of applause for said gentleman. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, right. Delightful. Now, I hope you boys and girls will listen to me because we were going to ask the question about the old currency. What I want to know is all those machines you saw worked on an old penny in the slot. When did England change? change from pounds, shilling, and pence to decimal currency. Would it be answer one nine? Nineteen fifty one, answer two nineteen sixty one, or answer three nineteen uh, seventy one. Uh She gets a red ball, everybody comes out of the dungeon. Hello, hello. Hello. Special delivery. Special delivery. Come, come, come. Oh. Come. Good, really. Good old way. Get a look. Right, we got it. Happy night. Happy night. Round that way. Round that way. It's a dear night. Having a lovely time, weather good, wish you were here. This resort is on the far coast. East coast. East coast, which is similar to the far coast. Yeah. And was... Of Essex. Of Essex. And you read it then, your wife. No, you read it. Cool. I can't read it. You're better at it. Right. Okay. This resort is on the east coast of Essex and has the world's longest pleasure pier. Is that right? Love from your Auntie Gladys. Auntie Gladys. I'll take it up to you. Will you take it up to Auntie Gladys? Right, off we go. Thank you very much. There it is, too. Right. <laughs> 
You heard that. You heard what was read on that. What we want to know is, where was that card sent from? Now, don't forget, there's the longest bit, right? Where was that card sent from? Would it be answer one, South End, answer two, Clacton, or answer three, Lower Stop? Off. If you think you know the answer, and there, and there, and go! Who knows the answer? Only two know the answer. Hey! Who knows the answer? Who knows the answer? Only two know the answer. But does it matter? They deserve a pound of a rule. Right. Got some gentlemen do a very, very fast ball. All you need is a bit of sand and a bit of wind. A couple of boys here, look at this. Right. And we have uh, Peter Christopherson, that's quite Peter. That's right. And what have you brought us today? This is a sand yacht. A sand yacht. Now, what I'll be, what I, what I introduce is, what I'll be correct in saying, all you need is some wind and a, and a stretch of sand. You need as big a beach as you can find. So, having said that, where do you normally race these? There's about 20 clubs in England. Is it really? And there's clubs all the way around the world. I know they died. What is this, this sport originate? It is a sport, isn't it? It's a sport. It originated in Belgium, and some of the first people to do it were the Blerio. Blerio. who were the first people to fly across the, the channel as well. Oh, it goes back that far? It goes back that far. Yeah. Right. So, do you have world championships and, uh, and whatever? You know? There are world championships, European championships, every kind of championships you can. And what have you taken part in? I've taken part in the world championships. How'd you do? Not too bad. Could do better. <laughs> Are you going again this year? Uh, it's European Championship. This the year. European. And where's it going to be held? Uh, this year it's in France, and then next year it comes to England, and we have it down at Western Superman. That's marvellous. Boys and girls, uh, Mr. Christopherson, and he's lovely. What about a nice round of applause? Here, yeah. I'll tell you why. I do, kids. The reason I'll tell you why, because we've got a nice bit of uh, film of these boys racing these sand yachts. Very exciting. Look at it. Turby left, here comes the question. I'll answer once again. We was looking at a sand yacht then, and what we want to know, what is the fastest, the fastest a sand yacht, a sand yacht has ever been? Would it be answer one, 48 mile per hour, answer two, 68 mile per hour, or answer three, 88 mile per hour? Turby left, there, there, and go! Everybody else! I should think so. Come on, you guys, hurry up, because we've got to move about here. Next question coming up. If you're not in your boxes, you can all go home. <laughs> what a nice guy I am. Eh? Here it is. What is a cowrie? A cowrie. Would it be answer one, a deck chair attendant? <laughs> answer two, a sunshade. Or answer three, a type of shell. Have you got it? Yeah! Run around and now run around. <laughs> Only one winner. That's the winner there. Round of applause. Right. Come over here. This is Linda Matthews. Hello, Linda. Where are you making floss, darling? Candy, candy floss. Candy floss. Now, one thing about candy floss, can you use any special sugar in that? No, I just don't want to make that. Well, why is it pink? I think it's a colour. Ah, you've got colour in it. Yeah. So have you got one of them for me? Yes. How long have you been doing that, darling? Ever since I was born. I was an African French machine. Really? So you was 18 months old, you was making them, <laughs> was you? No, don't tell me, fibs. Is that one for me? Yeah. Lovely. How about that? Linda, give me a nice round of round. Give me a round of applause. Linda. Now here we have like one of these machines that tell like, tell like, whether you're a Wally or not. Here, look. Gonna tell me fortune. Look at her hands. Look. <laughs> the answer will come out the bottom in a minute. Oh, here, look. Here, look. 
Mike Reed, you are a will. <laughs> Come on, everybody. They love him, don't you? I love donkeys. <laughs> punch and Judy. Hello, Punch. <laughs> All right, so how are you? How's the missus? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Reed. How very nice to see you. Nice to see you, Judy. I see you still got me crocodile behind there somewhere. <laughs> there he is. Oh, you know he's up there. Oh, he's quite angry. <laughs> Fellow behind there, Marcus. Can you just say hello, Marcus? Uh, hello, hello. Oh, what's that all right? Hello, hello. Have you got a summer season yet? Not yet, no. Marcus hasn't got a summer season. They're always punching Judy. Call him Marcus. <laughs> see you later, Mr. Punch. <laughs> Have some of that. Right. Donkey. I'm going to ask a question about a donkey. Here we go. Nice round of applause. Marcus, Punch and Judy. Question about a donkey, as I said. Look at the balls in front of you. What is the traditional name for a female donkey? What would be answer one? A donkeyette. <laughs> answer two, a Jenny. <laughs> you ready for this? Answer three, an asset. <laughs> <laughs> run around now, run around now, go on, you blow. Only two right, don't try and fiddle me. I ain't a will. Go on over here. Come on, guys. <laughs> right, here we go again. Jeremy left once again. How do the makers get the letters into sticks of rock? Would it be answer one? They are put in when they are rolling the rock. Answer two, they are shot in with a rock gun. I can't believe this show today. Or answer three, they are forced in. I'll tell you what, you keep writing questions like that, mate, you'll be forced out. Here go! <laughs> Run around now, are they shot in or forced in? Wow, when they're rolling the rock, both right. I should think so. Now, I've been very fortunate in my life. I've been all around the world on several occasions. I've seen some many, many beautiful things. But a man here has got a profession and he's a great artist. I'd like you to look at this beautiful bit of sand sculpture here. Right. And this gentleman's name's Fred Darren. Fred O.A. Mm -hmm. Nice mm -hmm. to see you. Now, what do you call yourself? A sand sculpture. Now, I know this is, I know that you've heard this on millions of occasions before, but I cannot believe that is actually made out of sand. Well, no one would not allow people. They're not, they're not animals underneath and you've covered them or something, are they? <laughs> That's been said before. I don't believe no, it, yeah. it's, it's just ways and like the region. Now, what's, can you work with them? Is, is it a special sort of sand that you, you, is you get better results with? Well, this is a, a limestone, yeah. A limestone. The origin for each thing. Yeah. And how do you actually go about when you start? I mean, how long did it take you to make this today? Seven hours. Seven hours, yeah, it must take seven hours. And do you get you get problems with the weather, do you? I do. And it may be the answer. It is the worst problem that uh, dries out for the minute. And when it dries out, does it crumble? Does yeah. it crumble? Yeah. So that, that eventually would dry out. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I can see the big, you know, the, the, the big sculptures, which is uh, unbelievable. But the work on the smaller stuff there, they were all monkeys that you made there. Now, I'm going to ask you the same question. I'm sorry to repeat the material. Have you made them out of sand? I've made them out of the same sand as this thing I made. So you make it to the next 40 hours. About 40 hours to make. Yeah. And the bread and cheese, because we, we've looked at this today in the studio, and we're all 
were all knocked out because that yeah. really looks as though you could eat it. <laughs> yes, well, that's just, well, I took glass over the years and they were to throw things constantly into what they do in real life. Yeah, and the bananas and the colouring, that they're, they're done with, are they done with special paints? No, right? just the same poster colours we even score. The watercolour paints? Yeah, sort of what well, are just incredible and when you when you work how big how big is your gallery i mean do you make bigger things than this have you made um, bigger things yes than this? i normally work uh, the back scene would be about 18 feet across yeah and uh, the whole pitch is 25 feet square yeah that on, on the evening of a night time like when you finish work when the sun goes down do you actually do you leave is there always somewhere you can secure your models for, from people smashing them up well these days i do leave far away but I draw a net club and pass in the front to suck things being thrown at it. And that's a terrible thing to say, but you actually get people that, I mean, I know they'll be kids, they've got to be kids, but to destroy something like that. Too many times. What a shame. I spent three weeks on the money right mm -hmm. before me, finished on the way to work this particular one, and the the morning was smashed up. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a, that's a yeah, terrible yeah. sin for having mm -hmm. a talent like that. And no, the egg know. and bacon. That's a real egg. It looks like a real egg and bacon. I could eat that. No, I wouldn't advise you to say. No, I wouldn't. Fred, you're a wonderful artist, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much for coming in and, and making oh. this wonderful bit of sculpture. Always. Boys and girls, Fred Darren, what a great talent. Yes! <laughs> now, but a tremendous talent there. Now, we're going to ask a question about a place where Fred works. And there's only two of you left, so I want you to listen to me very carefully. In which seaside town does Fred Darrington create his sculptures each summer? Would it be answer one in Torquay, answer two in Weymouth, or answer three in Broadburn? Have you got that? Go! <laughs> run around now, run around now. Yeah, that's right. Everybody comes out. Go on, kids. Right. Here we go, next question. We cannot have a question. Why can't we have a question? Because that is the end of the game. And that's the name of the game. We count up the points. Everybody gets prizes, bear that in mind. We've got four. We've got two. We've got a lady here with two, four, six, seven. Seven she's got. And we have got a winner. That is our winner here. That's her name here. They take it is, isn't it? Our Carol. Carol's our winner. What a nice round of applause. Carol, come on, buddy. What you fancy, mate? You see fans on the television, everybody gets prizes. Look after mum, she's your best mate. See you, kids. Be lucky. God bless you. Thank you.